Good morning, everybody, and welcome to leg 13 of the Aruba Island Walk. Today, we are joined by... Diane. Diane. And Gary. Gary from? Montana. Montana. And of course, Marlene morning. is also oh. here. Good Blo morning. Blooper already. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll start to walk here. We are near the Hyatt place at the Aruba airport. And the airport is also back there, of course. And our walk will go to the right. And we see an airplane back there. All right, are you guys ready? Yes. Yes, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> and if you are new to the channel, my name is Heido. I make Aruba videos, Aruba vlogs, and occasionally some travel vlogs as well. And uh, we can spot an Avianca airplane <laughs> over there. in the forefront of yours. That's an Avianca, probably an Airbus 320 that comes from Bogota, Colombia. And uh, yeah, our goal for today more or less is to get to where Marlene used to work years ago. More on that in a bit. Yeah as we start heading to the side road. This one is actually a road that runs around the runway, the, what you would call the end of the runway. And a lot of these cars that you see parked here are from the workers and they park here to avoid paying for the parking, the expensive airport parking. So a lot of the folks that help you uh, check in, uh, etc. And at the gate, this is where they put their car. And you have two major companies, the Gen Air yeah. and the Swissport. So some of them handle, I think the Swissport nowadays is handling the JetBlue flights, for example, etc. Oh. So let's Let's get through this part of the walk a little bit. And so we can have a walk with, uh, or a talk with Gary and Diane. You see some of the fuel trucks, four of them as, as a matter of fact, and two parking positions. I, did I hear that you want to go to Holland, maybe? See, for, uh, see, see. see? <laughs> I was telling Marlene I have a, a Dutch aunt. Oh, came okay. From Holland in, in 1967, and uh, has lived in Montana since then. I see. It, that that has something to do then with your height. Oh, you're, uh, I noticed you. <laughs> so the Dutch are known I'm, to be I'm, uh, very tall. I'm Norwegian. Okay. I'm Norwegian. No, she married my uncle. Okay. Let us get through the, the cars and I'll get uh, to interview them because sometimes they drive really fast on this road and then they slow down at the end, but we don't want anything weird to happen today. <laughs> also want to mention that if you want to be part of one of the next couple of walks, make sure that you check out the community post. That's where we publish the next couple of walks and we will have a few the coming week. So as we are trying to step up a little bit the walks, but we do not plan too far ahead, but we have put like three more after this one. And if you are not in Aruba, or even if you are actually, one of the things that you can do then is to send us 
a vertical video of yours just so like film with your phone for example a short video keep it say 15 seconds 20 seconds maybe I think I'm gonna walk to the other side and then with your greeting maybe your name maybe mention your name you're saying from we this is uh, Tom from Massachusetts for example and uh, we are watching Hiro's walk videos etc and we'll put it in one of the next couple of walk videos so that way you can also surprise someone back home maybe while they are watching so we are more or less leaving the airport side at least uh, the hotel where we started the walk from it is very very windy today and let me put the camera like this and it's not the easiest of areas to walk because there's no uh, we call it trottoir <laughs> like the uh, i think it's a french word right mm -hmm. trottoir yeah yeah french. yeah so uh, we have to be kind of like careful where we are walking etc it is a one-way road so the cars can move as we are walking. So what brings you to Aruba actually? Initially. Well, initially. warm weather. Yeah, warm weather. I've, uh, we like, we like to go to the islands. So on honeymoon we went to Tahiti, uh -huh. French Polynesia. Wow. Yeah. And uh, before COVID we went to uh, the south of France, but now we thought Aruba, why not? Yeah. We have to try it. Okay. So we watched all your films. Yeah. And then we went to the park, the national park, and we've gone to Hoover. So we uh, enjoyed your film. You were telling me you were you climbed the the Hoiberg the other day. Uh, how how was that experience? Was it very hard? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still? <laughs> <laughs> well, my husband, long legs, step this high. Yeah. Green short legs, step this high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very... 567 steps. How many times did you stop <laughs> before you got completely on oh, the top? Well, we stopped and had some water. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise you can... I, I cannot do it in one time, at least not right now. Well, I used to be. <laughs> we went one day in the afternoon. And we went about halfway, but it was too hot. Yeah. And so the next day, two days later, the next time, we went early in the morning, and a lot of locals were there. Yeah. And some were running up the steps. Yeah. And like I would, he would go ahead of me. So. Yeah. It was fun. Usually we do as locals. We go early in the morning or um, for the sunset. Yes, that's what I told and you. We need to go to the sunset. But once you, <laughs> once you are up there, after all that work, it there. is, yeah, <laughs> we are talking about the Hoiberg. So that's the hill that they were up. And once you're up there, it's worth the view, right? Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, uh, bonita. yeah, Hopi Bonita. <laughs> He's been um, practicing some papiamento words, and you know quite a few, I noticed. <laughs> he, he said actually, Nosta sigi boso. So they will be following us during this walk. So uh, that's very, very good. <laughs> Do you find it difficult? I mean, um, it's quite different than English. No, or? because. I know a little Spanish, so in the, in the, uh -huh. it's similar but easier because there's not gender. You don't have to remember female, male. Exactly. There are some words that have multiple meanings, and it's it's difficult sometimes to choose the right yeah. use of the word. Yeah, correct. So I ask, but every time we go to a restaurant, I try to speak abiamento or yeah. at, a, at a gift shop, whatever, a few words every day. Yeah, that's very interesting. I mean, 
if indeed if you do have the the Spanish, watch out here. <laughs> Um, if you do have the Spanish, it, it is a little bit easier to, to at least start to understand first and then the speaking also. And you made a good point about the uh, female and male el y ella. We don't have that. Don't have that. Yeah. It's easier too. It is easier, yeah. Or at least it's supposed to be. <laughs> Here we can notice on our left the Fofoti tours and transfers and also an airplane taking off. This is the DV Air Twin Otter. very very slow airplane but flies to Curaçao more or less 30 minutes to get there and if you haven't watched it and maybe you are interested in maybe checking out a few Curaçao vlogs we have that also on the channel I'll put the link to the Curaçao playlist I've had uh, quite a few and last year we were also there with the kids and with Marlene and uh, we did some filming and I also was there in uh, I do believe 21 I do believe I was there or 22 not sure now <laughs> have you been to Curacao maybe I was just saying that the airplane that just took off is going to Curacao the island no, of Curacao we have not been to Curacao and um, that's uh, about a half an hour flight, but usually it's very expensive. It's gotten really expensive for us to go from Aruba to Curaçao. So more or less, even though it's a half an hour flight, it's cost in the excess of around three hundred dollars. Believe it or wow. not. <laughs> so every Cheaper minute. To walk. Yeah. <laughs> so there there has been a talk about a boat service from Aruba to our to, between the ABC Islands, but it's it's not happen for many years it's we used to have it when i was younger but i never experienced it myself so you could have gone with your cars back then to curacao and even venezuela believe it or not so uh yeah that's a lot of dogs So this not, might not be the most scenic walk, but it's one of those areas that we do have to do to get to the next um, areas of the island. So the next uh, side of the island and our next, let's say, beautiful areas would be the Mangal Halto, but that's still in about what we are assuming another three walks or so. Oh, we hope to reach it. I had an issue with my foot also, and I'm walking mostly good today. <laughs> but I had to delay the, the next walk a little bit. And uh, doing much better. I have one foot that's bad. Yeah? <laughs> An injury many, many years ago. OK. Now, now as you get older, it's coming back to remind you that oh. you're not young. Like yeah. You So this is also the roads to the general aviation area. So if you're taking a, say a private jet or something, then this is the road that will lead you to the private airport or terminal actually situated on the south side of the runway. Maybe, should we walk on that side maybe? Okay. Just a little bit of shade coming up <laughs> and then we can have a better look at the cars. And worth mentioning is that you, if you like aviation, you like airplanes and they are landing from the other side. So this is the road where they will pass just a couple of meters and land back here is the runway. We can still notice the 
tower over there. It, it's strange how it's hot, but when you're in the shade, it's, it's not too bad. Very nice. Yeah. Let us also know if you have been watching each and every single one of the island walks starting from the West Punt, where we started with a couple from Norway. Have you been watching each and every single one of them so far? Let me know in the comments below and what you think of it. And is it a crazy idea? We still have quite a way to go. I think we are reaching close to halfway point more or less and uh, <laughs> it started as a crazy idea but i think now it's 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 quite interesting and for us as well so we can see the sign that says about the jet blast because the airplanes will turn here if they are taking off the other way and we can see the lights the landing lights on this side so when the airplanes land from the other side we come here and we put the car Watch. and we got some nice nice shots maybe if i maybe we have a, a video i might have one on my phone and I'll put it somewhere here in the video, so you have an idea how the, the view is. <laughs> See, the wind is pushing you guys back. <laughs> All right, let's continue. We still have a, a way to go. <laughs> Doing, good? Doing good? Everything okay? <laughs> been lucky and able to film so many different type of vlogs and one of them is the plane spotting that I did a while back and also the electric uh, airplane I flew in I don't know if you saw that one See. yeah that was uh, that was interesting <laughs> I think uh, most of my family was all uh, nervous about it <laughs> I can understand why but everything went very very well <laughs> I got this into my shoes. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys something. See this plant? It looks relatively innocent. And it has like a small flower. You would think not much of it. It seems nice. But if you happen to, to dr just brush here, let's say you go by, it's going to see this thorn. right here it can be worse than a cactus mm. and we did a hike recently that where there was a lot of it and that will that left you um, if uh, totally scratched mm -hmm. it's horrible <laughs> we were in Aircock Park yesterday yeah there are some of it yeah this is a, a small one it gets a little bit yeah it gets a little bit higher yeah just in case you're hiking and you see these kind of like small beautiful flowers but just be careful don't try not to touch too much where has been like the the most interesting part of the island for you so far like I enjoyed doing one happy trail. 
Oh, okay, you did that one. Good. Well, nice view. Enjoy. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, of course, the beaches. All the beaches. Too, yeah. We hike every day, or most every day in, in Arakak because we're near there. Okay. So she likes the shopping. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, he's mentioned that you like the shopping of Aruba. <laughs> I was asking <laughs> what he liked the most. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> Two days. She shops, I carry the credit card. <laughs> yeah. You carry the bags and I the credit card. The bags and the credit card. <laughs> We talked a moment ago about your uh, learning Papiamento, but for those who have never come to Aruba, actually, how easy has it been to communicate with everyone on the island? So I know that we talk about us knowing different languages, but it's a question I, I have gotten recently. What's been your the experience? Only, the only time that on the second day on the island, I hadn't learned any words yet. I went to get a haircut. Savanita, oh. and the barber did not speak English. Okay. But another customer in another chair did speak English, so we had to translate. But that's the only time that a shopkeeper or someone that I met or interacted with, I couldn't communicate with right. some combination of English and Papiament. Yeah. You always, always find someone that might know the English. Someone's always yeah. usually in the vicinity. Yeah. We'll have Usually, and, and as we uh, show uh, airplane taking off. <laughs> oh, look at this old car, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty nice. nice ride. Huh? <laughs> it's difficult to keep the cars in such a condition here on the island because of the salty. Um, so it's uh, here, yeah. Oh, this is used to be a snake. Used to be a snake. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was going to mention that most of the time uh, the locals, so if they were born here, they, they should know Spanish, Dutch and English, apart from our Papiament, of course. Um, oftentimes when that happens is because maybe they came to work here and they didn't get the, to learn the, the other languages at school. the best of smells in this area. <laughs> I will say one thing, mm -hmm. if you know a few words of Papiamento, suddenly everybody, the locals are very pleased and want to interact with you. Yeah. More so than just another tourist. So oftentimes they're surprised. Exactly. Well, I think it's a good thing. I think you, you also get that in most countries you visit. That you, if you know a few words to say thank you, to say good morning and things like that, it, it really makes it um, nice. I want to bring Marlin, just if you don't mind, <laughs> okay. a little bit in the 
spotlight. In the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, years ago, for those who not, are not um, don't know, the Marlene came here to to do work yeah. briefly as uh, cool. as a student. Yeah. And well, I'm talking too much. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. I was. Uh, I came here in the year 2000 for school for a few months, and yeah, I worked in this area, uh, the company called uh, Caribbean Drip Irrigation, and uh, I it's like a garden center, and they um, put uh, drip systems in gardens and hotel gardens. It was quite a big uh, company, and yeah, this was really cool. I, I've got really good memories of that the uh, time. I learned a lot to, uh, for, yeah, for myself and uh, yeah, the things I like. Um, yeah, beautiful time. And and often when we talk about old times, you often often uh, still like talk about it and yeah. remember it. Mm -hmm. And I think I think that's that's a beautiful thing. The company still exists, but yeah. now at another spot. Yeah, we it's are in San Nicolas, we saw it. Yeah, and why we bring it up? Because we are getting closer to it, or at least where it used to be. Yeah. Hopefully we are able to get there. So we do have to walk back and we keep in mind the folks that walk with us, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna probably make a stop before we go back. and. Yeah, it's, it, I, I hear you talking about it all the time, and it's, yeah. it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's something maybe that changed you as a person, uh, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I really grow. I was 18, and yeah, I really grow that month. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was beautiful to take care of myself. And <laughs> nice, very yeah. nice. Now let's continue to be careful with the cars that are passing. As, yeah, this is like we are walking a little bit more in the urban areas, you could call. And this continues to be the road to the private, or not private, the uh, General Aviation Airport. Watch out with this one. And it also used to be the road to the local dumpster, this particular road. And that one was closed uh, last year, so January last year. And this is one of the roads that led up to it. There are, I do believe, another two roads that, that um, you could get to it but nowadays it's closed that has been changed a little bit and in the next couple of uh, walks we'll probably be talking about that General Aviation is nowadays called JET, TNCA. TNCA again is the name or the abbreviation for the Aruba Airport. For IATA at least. And this here on the left used to be like a garage for the Avis car rental, but I don't see any sign for it anymore. Maybe uh, it's not. And here, this is a very uh, nice looking <laughs> house with like mushroom tops. Or is it a house? It looks a little bit also like a, uh, uh, an office, who knows?
Just want to check if you guys are still doing good. Sure, we must be yeah? close to standing uh, we, this way now. Yeah, we are close to uh, <laughs> where we will be stopping, more or less. Maybe over there or a little bit further, just a little bit, not too much. Because there is Caribbean yeah. Drift. Yeah, yeah. that's where... Oh, let's stop there. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Good, because we still have to walk back, so... <laughs> <laughs> Watch out with the... Uh... <laughs> so despite the heat, do you still prefer to be here or in the, in the snow and shoving the garage? <laughs> yeah, watch out. You, you briefly also mentioned that you do the hikes every day and how do you find them? Is it through our videos or have you just uh, done some Google research or something? Well, most of it's through your videos, but then when you go to the park, the visitor center, you can ask for a specific map for a trail and they'll give you a more detailed, I mean, they give you the general map of the yeah. park, but then they have individual maps for uh, the individual hikes. And we don't hike far, maybe for one, one and a half hours. Okay. And we don't go way downhill. So we went on the Conchi Trail, but we stopped Ooh. before it drops off. Yeah, it's that's one of the tough ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you at least for the heat. Yeah. At least for the heat. And then... Uh, well, we try to be the, at the park when it opens at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So you're done hiking by 10 in the morning. Yeah. And then she goes to the visitor center and has a smoothie. Oh, <laughs> yes. And we go home, dip in the pool, and... Yeah. That's, that's nice. I, I, I love when I hear folks not just exploring the beaches, but also other parts of the island. I always mention it in my, my videos because I think, like, there's a lot more than just the beaches. But if you're coming for maybe three or four days, then, you, ah, yeah, sure, you might want to stick to the beaches. <laughs> but if you come a little bit longer, like you have, Absolutely, there's so much more to see. So this is more or less where Marlin used to work. And it's not what it used to be, so now it's just like a house, but there used to be a, a uh, garden center here. Yeah. yeah here this is it. Was, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here was the entrance and uh, that house. Oh, no, I think I... That's the, that's the office. That used to be oh, office, right? The office, yeah. yeah. Maybe we could walk till the entrance of it and yeah. then uh, wrap it up there. Oh, look at the bird. The yellow bird. Is it not? Is that a yellow trupia? No. 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 Oh, we're trying to follow them. Yes. Oh, the other one. Yeah, and this I, one. Yeah, and there are uh, above. I sleep there. Uh -huh. There was my room. Don't want to be weird filming someone's house. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, stop the walk here, more or less, under this nice tree. <laughs> we can get some shade for a moment. Look out for that. Oh. Yeah. I want to thank you so much for joining us. I know it's uh, very hot at this time of day. That's why we sometimes do the walks more like after 4 or 5 p.m., even 6 p.m., a few of them. But ho hopefully you have somehow enjoyed it and learned something new. It's very good. It was on yeah. your bucket list. Yes. <laughs> and you also, thanks for sharing the, the part of your, um, yeah, your history. Story. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we will catch you in the next walk video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day.